Hello, in this problem we're going to solve this equation for x. So let's go ahead and try to do it, solution. So I haven't done this yet, but I have an idea of what to do. So basically, over here, because the bases are the same, we can add the exponents. So that's a good first step. So we have e, and then x plus x plus 3, well, x plus x is 2x, and then we just have the plus 3. Right, because we add the exponents. And this is equal to, here we have to be a little bit careful. Um, this is exponentiation. So basically, you have to multiply the 3 by the x plus 2. So I'm going to do it in steps. It's really e to the 3 times x plus 2. But x plus 2 needs a parenthesis because we're multiplying 3 times this term. Right, We're looking at it as one term. So we definitely need parentheses around it. Right, The rule says if you have x to the m to the n, it's x to the m times n, right? So this is your m, this is your n, so you have to be very careful with the parentheses. So this is equal to, that's a common mistake, by the way, uh, people not doing that, 2x plus 3. You could have skipped it, you could have done it in your head, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6, so you can certainly do that, but I just wanted to show the step. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Much easier than I thought. I really didn't put much thought into the solution other than the first step, and I thought we should be able to do it. But look, these are the same. So these go away. Um, so you just get 2x plus 3 equals 3x plus 6. Okay, you can take the natural log of both sides. You can realize they're both the same. So this quantity must be equal to this quantity. Track 2x, track 2x. So we get 3 equals x plus 6. By the way, there's other ways to think about how to go from here to here, right? Again, you can uh, take the natural log, realize they're both the same. Um, it's really because the uh, exponential function uh, is 1 to 1. But in any case, subtract 2x, so we're here. And then subtract 6, track 6, let's finish it up. Uh, so we get x equals negative 3. And that's it. That would be the answer there. So yeah, I hope uh, this video has been helpful. Good luck.